Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to Best of Three. Uh, earlier we played, earlier this week we played a, a reanimator deck in Best of One. That was so-so. Um, I, I said I'd come back with the reanimator deck for Best of Three. So, I found a deck that's really good in Best of One. This deck is really good in Best of One, this reanimator shell. Uh, the idea is to mill yourself with Supplier, Reunion, Thrill Possibility, Timurit Calls the Dead, and then what you want to do is you want to Reanimate Scholar of the Lost Trove. This card, what this card does is says when it enters the battlefield, you may cast target instant sorcery or artifact card from your graveyard without paying its mana cost. So we, we cast this, or we reanimate this with rights for four mana, and then we get to cast Rise of the Dark Realms for free, which puts all creature cards from all graveyards onto the battlefield under your control. So basically we get, we get a bunch of creatures, like Burning Room Demon, Noxious Gear, Hulk, Massacre Worm, Garuda, um, Platinum Angel, we get a bunch of them put, them, put, put them into play. The Scholar can also just reanimate things like Platinum Angel, because it's an artifact, or Noxious Gear Hulk, because that's also an artifact. This deck has been really good in uh, Best of One. Best of Three, I think it's going to be a little rough, just because people people get access to like Tormund's Crypt, Graph Digger's Cage, etc, etc. So the sideboard is going to be a Braids, because red is our easiest thing to to get, like easier, easier, easier than the disenchant. A braid destroys artifacts, which is very good for Graph Digger's Cage. Uh, Feed the Swarm can hit things like uh, Leyline of the Void. Disenchant can hit both. However, white is like our splash color. We don't have too much white. We're essentially a black-red deck splashing white to for rights. Then you have Thoughtseize Duress for uh, control decks, or decks with counter magic and authority. The consoles for like goblins and other other decks that mostly goblins, and it's also decent against Grohl. Just just slow, slow them down a little bit, slow the haste down a bit. This deck is pretty explosive when it when it does go off. Again, just like best of three is a little risky, just because of people are bound to be playing some sort of graveyard hate. Even rest in peace. Um, I'll try this. This one's kind of slow. Okay, we drew Reunion, so we can pitch a land and... Well, now we can just pitch Scholar and Rise. Okay. They're probably playing the Ray Merchant deck. It also plays Pure into the Abyss. No, don't exile any of those. Heartless Act. It's fine. Okay, unfortunately, we're milling lands here. Behemoth isn't quite good enough. How many rise? We have one rise in one rise in the graveyard. Okay, in this case, I'll just wait. Okay, draw 
a lot of lands. Next turn I'll try to... Alright. We'll do rise, and if they kill Scholar in response, that's a mistake because we get it back. So, don't want to do that. Probably expect some some form of, some form of graveyard hate. I'll bring some disenchants because they're the nice catch-all. And the thing is, like, you don't want to sideboard too much. Because you want to also fill your graveyard up with creatures. Try this. But as you can see, like game ones with this deck are pretty powerful. That's a mulligan. It's also a mulligan. Don't like putting that one on the bottom, but you don't really have much choice. Underworld Dreams. Grim Tutor. They probably found like some graveyard hate, I imagine. is not a graph digger's cage. Okay, I'm gonna write back a scholar. And then next turn we can get back to the behemoth. Okay, that makes things a little, diff a little diff different.
I'm actually going to do Scholar. Into Rites. Into Demon. I'm going to grab Rise. Which we'll put in our hand. This one in the graveyard. Wow. Actually gave us Rise. It's interesting. Are we dead next turn? back. Get back Rise. And with the trigger of the Behemoth on the stack, I'm actually going to sack it. Oh, never mind, I'm going to sack it. Yeah, so I'm going to sack the Behemoth now. Should the should the effect go off first, then sacked it, but I just wanted two triggers of Behemoth. But I should have let it happen first and then sacked it to the tower. Yeah, but if people leave our graveyard alone, the deck is pretty powerful. The deck really wants an Entomb effect. Entomb is a card that puts a card into your graveyard. Like the best one we have in the store, I think is like Final Parting, which costs five mana, which is way too much. There's also the Lamaya, the enchantment creature. Then it comes into play. Puts a card into your graveyard, but that also costs five mana. Preferably something that costs three or two is what we'd really want, but I mean one obviously is ideal, but I doubt they'll give us I doubt seriously doubt they'll give us in tomb. Okay, we'll go back to Behemoth. Just because Platinum Angel can win games can win a lot of games game one. Depending on the matchup. Milled a lot of nothing. I need to draw a couple lands here. But even against this matchup, like, Angel should be pretty good. Oh, come on. Why can't we, why can't we even mold that one? Drawing that one hurts. Okay, so we can't sacrifice things, right? Oh, come on. We kept a three land hand. Didn't draw a fourth land. Or even like a thrill or anything. Or we also mill, we also mill one of these. Milling one of these would have, would have worked as well. 
Not out. Still miss on land drop? Okay. Okay. Can't really do much about that. Sucks. That was a rough game. I think I'm just gonna keep it the way it is. They're playing green white, so they might have a cage or rest in peace. They probably have rest in peace. And they should bring in feed the swarm. One behemoth. One angel. Oh, my angel seems hard for them to deal with. Need Masker Worm. Terrible hand. I really want a second tower. Right, Mode of feed the swarm. Masker worm that we can bring back. Or we can scholar feed the swarm. What the holding mana for? It's a little spoopy. I messed that up. I should have. I should have scholared for rise much earlier. Ah, oh, containment priest. And scavenging is okay. Well. That's that, I guess. Man, both those is pretty, pretty savage.
It's unfortunate I only can only kill one. I think it has to be ooze. Because ooze can grow. So now we have to cast all our threats. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, nice. Containment Priest stops company too. Man. I have one more feed the swarm. Yikes. Yikes. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't know if Timurite Calls Dead does anything really. Gives us a blocker. No! We mailed our Feed the Swarm. All right, maybe just, maybe just play four Feed the Swarms. Obviously, Feed the Swarm is really good against this matchup. I don't know that Priest and Ooze, though. I mean, Wrath of God would be good too, though. If, we had, if I knew we're, this was this was a thing, I'll just play. I'll just play Wrath of God. Dead next turn. I feel like all, only out was. Okay, well, Platinum Angels, Platinum Angels Wars are out. We milled it again. We have. We have no more Angels. No more Angels.
Okay. Yeah, this is... It's much harder to do this deck in best of... Best of three. We would need more of like a... Transforma transformational sideboard. Like, there was like a show-and-tell type card. We could just become a show-and-tell deck and play cards from our hand instead of the graveyard, but... Doesn't really exist. Alright, we can reunion the behemoth. And rise. Then we can try to call the dead. See if you want answers. Nope. Can you can you can you both those in the graveyard? Which was a bit of mill card. This is this is mill six for three mana. I wish we had something a little better. Maybe glimpse the unthinkable. Mill 10. Mill 10. I just need a, re a reanimation spell. Like one rights, but we haven't seen one. I might, I might have one more turn to draw the rights. If I draw rights, I think we actually win the game. Seven. Hmm. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. Five, six, seven, eight. All right, deck. Give me unbarrel rights. Umbrella rights one time. Let us win. That's unfortunate. That is unfortunate. I'm sure if a braid's good enough, it's probably fine. Ah, oh, that's rough. Sometimes you don't know the rights. We, we, we saw a lot of cards there too. We saw like what? 22 cards? 22 cards and no right and no rights. Try this.
This hand is good if we draw a thrill or a reunion. It's fine. I mean, they take they take a, they take a supplier here. It's not a big deal. Okay, or they take embroil rights. Not expecting umbrella rights to be taken. lands. Haven't mulled a creature yet. It's a little rough. Take reunion, it's fine. She can find a land in the top three cards of our deck. Thing there. That would been good. That would have been good, a good mill. Wow! We found all my creatures. Found them. Sure. And then we can write again. I'm actually going to take this. Just because I want the, the tramp, the attackers with the supplier. Because Behemoth's going to pump them all up. Wow. Wow. Good draw. Good draw. That's so annoying.
the third thought says. Third thought says. I think we have one more feed the swarm. I don't want to cast Garuda either. Because that give them fuel with Luris. Unfortunate. Ugh. I can't give her the punishment either, otherwise they lure us it back as well. Please, no enchantment. No! Goodness gracious. Dyke, please give me a land. Eight, nine, six, seven, eight. Land, please, one time. Ugh. Please, deck. Just land. Th 
Thankfully, they've used three Thought Seizes, so... We just need one land. One land. Wow. <laughs> they do all four Thought Seizes. Alright. And they took the wrong card. And we lose. Unbelievable. It's annoying. Frustrating, for sure. Yeah, I'm trying to find a good remake for best of three, but I don't think this is it. Those games were those games were really close. Like I was always like one card off, one land off, or one Umbrella Rights off. It's like this, this, this is really close, but it really wants like an Entomb effect, and not having that really hurts. Not having that really hurts. All right, I'm gonna play. This is a different deck. We still, we still have a bit of time, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try a different this a different Rainmere deck. This is more focused on Garuda. I feel like this one has a better sideboard game plan. We'll play a couple here. And we can thirst away the angel. Flying or first strike? Okay. I was curious if they're playing a snow deck when they played this. Looks like we're playing a, a newer player. It's indestructible. Yikes. I don't think I'm going to care about the squirrel. We have the Gear Hulk Sublime. Please this will give, <laughs> let us showcase the deck. Not really how far would go down.
The Gear Hulks. Should end the game pretty quickly next turn. Indestructible opponent. I feel terrible. <laughs> oh man. They have to be either sore in last turn too. I mean, I mean <laughs> y'all learn somehow. Read the card. Read the card. First line of text. Indestructible. Thanks, opponent. I'm sorry. Good game. Okay, I thought they were being actually nice. I thought they were they were enjoying themselves. Ah, those good games were, were sarcastic good games. They were not really good games. And here I here I felt bad. So I was just thinking about I was actually thinking about seeing this match and going to play like a on ladder or something, but they're gonna be like that. And the reason I like this this deck a little more than the other Rainier deck, or it seems like well, the the, the other Rainier deck I like more in best of one. This one in best of th I think has more legs in best of three because you can just like transform into a like a bolus deck. Basically, like, this is control. You can cut something on the top end, like Planet Mantle or whatever, and just become like a, a control deck with Thought Seeds, Nicol Bolas, Dragon God, and Nicol Bolas, the Ravager. So you have like a transformational sideboard, unlike the All In deck. But the All In deck is better in best of one. This is probably better in best of three. Just run it back.
Thanks, opponent. Maybe we can maybe maybe we can get the uh, just fast forward this this match. One more. One more. This is a no bueno. Throw back the epiphany. I wonder if I should be playing like strategic planning over over uh, thirst for knowledge. Hi. Scrybug. We can get a land so we can keep playing the game. Lame. It's a really slow start for us. there. That works. I'm going to thirst and try to find the, either find a big creature to reanimate or find the languish or find the swamp rather for languish. Discard Epiphany. Probably Champion of Wits too. I don't want to get claimed. Language is also very good against Butcher here. Series of events there. Let's see. Bring in some lemonades, a couple of raids. They're bound to have oven and cauldron familiar. Oven and familiar. Nope. Hmm. Try this. 
Like Golos? Probably Golos just because Rites is a free discard with Champion. Thalsies is a plague for Historic. Really hit Thalsies. Pretty obnoxious, pretty obnoxious card. Took the champ. All right, Ollie versus the fourth land. After keeping three lands, I feel like this happens a little too much. Keep three lands, never see a fourth. That way, if they kill Golos, we can bring it back. We can't claim Golos, so that's nice. If they do attack, I will trade the, the Golos for the Butcher. Two, three, four. Wow. Double claim. This deck is so obnoxious. Just because everything costs one or two, one or two mana and they're all good. Like claim the firstborn, claim the fame. You just can't like get in and do anything. You just die. It's very, it's very, very good. I think I'm just dead. Right? Do I even have an out? Massacre worm, maybe? I can't play a creature because they just they just uh cast fame on the butcher and kill me. If I block, I have to just try to high roll off the, the land here. Hit a Masker Worm. Or a Gear Hulk. Or a Platinum Angel. Or Garuda into Masker Worm.
torrential gear hook isn't quite good enough. Okay, chat. This has been a frustrating series of games. Um, but I am done. I think I'm going to hang up the hat on Reanimator for now. I had high, high hopes for it because I really like, I really, I really do like the, uh, the port. It's super fun. Reanimation on land. I like, and then like just being able to bring back anything you want. It seems really cool. And then Golos be able to find that, find the port or find the world tree to activate Golos. Seems fun too, but I just don't think this, like, I think it's, I think we make it make it a little better maybe with like strategic planning, but I don't think that's going to change too much. I think this is probably better than Thirst for Knowledge or something, you know, just, just, just more stuff to do on turn two earlier, earlier in the game. Uh, like probably, probably before these, cut some top end. But I don't think it's going to change the deck drastically enough to make it, like, really good. I think the deck really wants an Entomb effect, which was in the last, the last set, that, but the last set, but it didn't come to Historic. They deemed it too powerful. They didn't give us Entomb or Path to Exile, but they gave us Thalsies, which is super annoying. Because Thalsies is, like, the strongest card in Historic. Compared to everything else. Anyways, chat, thanks for hanging out. Uh, sorry, I got a little, a little bummed out here. I feel like this deck should have done a little better. Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's obviously tier one. I don't recommend it. Don't recommend like using wild cards on it. But I just want to try it out. Keep trying it out and just see how it went. I did better on stream with it than we did on the YouTube videos. But sometimes it happens. Sometimes magic happens. Uh, if you do want to watch these decks live, where I, I just tune them and play them over and over again, you can, you can find that on twitch.tv slash aliyaldrazi. You can also follow my Twitter at twitter.com slash aliyaldrazi. And uh, remember, if you, shop, if you shop at coolstuffinc.com, please use code ali 5 to save 5% 5% off your entire order. And you also get sweet, sweet Ali Aldrazi whoop tokens. Okay, thanks so much for hanging out. Have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you all back next week.